4.1. Knowing that the gradient function dy by dx gives the gradient of the curve and measures the rate of change of y with respect to x. This is the first video in the calculus section of my ultimate revision guide for further maths GCSE. Okay, this idea um, this is mainly about getting to use to what dy by dx stands for. So dy by dx um, is when we differentiate the function y equals something, so something to do with y with respect to x, that means we differentiate whatever polynomial we have, whatever powers of x we've got. That gives us the gradient of the curve that we started with. So if we have, for example, y equals x squared, and we differentiate to get to dy by dx, and we differentiate that, we take the 2 down, and we get x, the power of 1, which is just x, so we get 2x. This function is the gradient function of the curve y equals x squared. It also gives us the rate of change of y with respect to x. So when we're talking about rates of change, we're talking about this thing, the dif differential of, of y with respect to x is the rate of change function. So this function is the same thing as the gradient function. So just getting used to those two ideas, they have the same meaning and uh, where they come from. OK, we've got four practice questions to have a look at to give us a, give us a sort of a, see, to check our understanding of this. Um, ideally, you should have a go at this before I go through it so that you can check whether, whether you know it already or whether you need to work on this. OK, let's crack on with the first question. So, a curve has a gradient function dy by dx equals 4x squared plus x. So that's a, that's a function, that's a, um, a graph function that's already been differentiated, so we get this gradient function 4x squared plus 3. But then we're asked, what is the gradient of the curve when x equals 2? Well, the gradient of the curve is this function. So when x equals 2, that will be the gradient when x equals 2. So we, we change dy by dx is equal to 4 times x equals 2, 2 squared, plus 3. And 4 times 2 squared, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. So the gradient when x equals 2 is 19. So we just put the number 2 into the to the dy by dx, the, the gradient function, and that gives us the value. Work out the values of x for which the rate of change of y with respect to x is 4. So the rate of change of y with respect to x is just, again, this differential function, dy by dx. And we want to find out for what value of x is that equal to 4. So where's the rate of change equal to 4? So where does dy by dx equal 4? Well, it equals 4 when 4x squared plus 3 equals 4. So we have to essentially solve this equation. To do that, we need to take away the 3. Let's just, let's just rearrange it a little bit. 4x squared plus 3 equals 4. Let's take away the 3 from both sides to get 4x squared equals 1. And then we're going to um, divide by 4. So we get x squared equals a quarter. And then we need to do the square root of a quarter, and the square root of a quarter is a half, but also minus a half. Because minus a half squared is also a quarter. So don't forget to put the plus and negative version when you find the square root of something. Okay, so um, that's the value of x that gives um, the rate of change of y to be 4. Okay, work out the gradient of the, gr of the curve y equals 4x squared minus 2x plus 3 at the point a half 3. So to work out the gradient of the curve, we need to work out the function for the gradient, which is dy by dx. So it helps if you've done section 4.3 to remind you how to do it differentiate, but I'll, I'll go through again here. So we start by this, doing them separately one at a time. So we start with the 4x squared. Uh, we've already done it once here. Actually, no, we haven't. That was, the, that was already given to us. So 4x squared, we need to differentiate that. So to differentiate that, we reduce the power by 1 to get x, and we take this number and times it by the number in front to get 8. So we go 2 times 4 is 8, x to the power of 1, which is just x. And then we've got, um, this is x to the power of 1, so the 1 comes down, times by the 2, or the negative 2, to give us negative 2, and we have x to the power of 0, which is just the number 1. So we've got 8x minus 2 is the gradient function. Um, so at the point of half 3, well, 3 is not very important, we just want to know what the gradient is of the curve, so that's just this value when x is a half. So when x equals a half, dy by dx 
equals eight times a half minus two. Oh, I've written a quarter. Say one thing, write another. Eight times a half is four. Take away two is two. So the, so the gradient equals two at the point half three. That gets me on to question three. Given that y equals 3x minus x squared, work out the coordinates of the point at which the gradient of the curve is 5. So again, um, like the last question, we need to find the differential. We're not actually given the points this time, but we're told the gradient, so we're actually working back to find x. And once we find x, we need to find y, because we want the, the, co the coordinates of the points, so that's both x and y. So we start by differentiating, because we're doing... We know the gradient of the curve is 5, so we need to find differential of this curve. So uh, differential of 3x is 3. Uh, differential of minus x squared, we take the 2 down to get minus 2x. Take 1 off the power, x to the power 1, which is just x. So this is the differential function. And we're told this equals 5. So 3 minus 2x equals 5. And we have to solve that, and that gives the value of x. So we take away the 3. We get minus 2x equals 2, divide by the minus 2, so x equals min, uh, 2 divided by minus 2, which is minus 1. So that's one point. And then to find the other point, well, we know y is equal to 3x minus x squared. So we use that, y equals 3x minus x squared. And we know x is minus 1, so we've got 3 lots of minus 1, uh, minus, minus, minus 1 squared. 3 lots of minus 1 is minus 3, and then we're taking away minus 1 squared, which is just 1. We've got minus 3, minus 1, which is minus 4, so y equals minus 4. So the coordinates is going to be minus 1, minus 4. So that's the coordinates where the gradient of the curve is 5. We found out that because we did the gradient function, divided by the x, made that equal to 5. Let's find out what value of x makes that 5, and that's going to be our x coordinate. Then we put that back into the equation to find our y coordinate. Okay, another one, um, work out the rate of change of y. So the rate of change of y is just divided by dx. Um, we need to multiply out the bracket to be able to differentiate it. So y is going to be equal to x times 4, which is 4x, plus x times x, which is x squared. Once we have it in separate powers of x, we can then differentiate it to get the rate of change function, which is the same as the gradient function. Differentiating 4x is just the number 4. x squared is 2x. So uh, work out the rate of change of y with respect to x when x equals 3. So when x equals 3, divide by dx equals 4 plus 2 times 3, which is 6, which is 10. So um, you could write all that out again, but the answer is 10. I'm just going to double underline it to make it clear. OK, so that's using divide by dx, um, getting used to the idea of what it stands for. It stands for the gradient function of the curve, or of any curve, and it's also the same as the rate of change of y. So the gradient is the rate of change of y with respect to x. So when you're asked to do that, it's just asking you to differentiate.